Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the flyby camera feature in flight control replay. Please do note that this feature is still in beta. The first thing you need to do is to record your footage as you'd normally do. In this situation we are recording a normal takeoff from Los Angeles International Airport. I have recorded the footage so that we can use it for the purposes of this tutorial. It's a very simple takeoff with a right turn. Let us now bring flight control replay and stop the footage and reset it to the very beginning. In order to toggle the flyby camera on and off, you need to click on this little button here that shows zero and zero. Let's take a quick look at the default options of the flyby camera. You can see the flyby camera distance is 0.1 nautical miles, camera position from user plane is 45 degrees, and the maximum distance before trigger camera change is 0.3 nautical miles. Now, this is uh, quite a short distance, and let's take a look at how the default values work in the sim. Click on play, and let's watch what happens. As soon as the aircraft covers the distance, the camera is going to switch to the beginning and replay the same exact flyby camera with the same default values, as you can see here. Now you'll agree with me that the flyby camera works, but it doesn't really create for that dramatic scene with the default values. So let's go ahead and change things around a little bit. We're gonna bring the footage here to the very beginning. I have now made several changes to the flyby camera options. The camera position from the user plane angle has been changed to minus 90 degrees. Please note that you can have any value from zero to 180 or from zero to minus zero 180. I have also increased the maximum distance before trigger camera change to 0.8 nautical miles. Let's take a look at the results after these changes. Notice that the camera angle has now changed. And you'll notice that the distance is much longer before the camera triggers the flyby camera from start again. A little better than the uh, default values. And here is our turn. I have now changed the camera position from the user plane to minus 45 degrees and let's go ahead and play this footage and take a look. And this is, I think, the view that most of you guys like to see. Works pretty well. My recommendation is to increase the nautical miles uh, before the camera trigger changes. There you have it. Again, the feature is still in beta, so you will get a little bit of uh, jitters uh, there. But overall, I think it works pretty well. 
I believe that the flyby uh, feature in flight control replay is a good feature. I think it, it works as advertised, but it definitely does need refinements to ensure the smoothness uh, of the aircraft movement. I do recommend though that you always increase the distance before the camera change triggers uh, in order to have a smoother um, experience while creating your flyby cameras. Well, folks, this is what I wanted to share with you in this short video. I hope that you have found it useful and insightful. If you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. Now we'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.